Oh, Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ladies and gents. Woo. When I tell y'all. Transformation is real. I have searched and searched for probably the past 10, 15 years for my purpose or what I was supposed to be doing. There was always a pull being in the military, even though I was good at it. There was always a pull in the back of my mind that there was something else. I have the natural ability of nurturing Caring, coaching, counseling. My grandmother was the same way. But for years, I have been trying to figure out how to heal from trauma and how to help others heal from trauma. And what I've realized recently was how on earth could I find a way to do it for other people if I had not done it for myself. And when you find self-love, when you choose you, it really does make sense. It all fucking connects. I've come across something. I'm a little stunned that more people aren't aware or more people aren't considering this approach to trauma healing. The last videos I was making, I was, you can see in them, the change had started. You can tell. And I was excited, shocked. Um, I I didn't truly understand what was happening. I could tell I was feeling a lot better. Um, Things were starting to make sense in my own journey and my own healing. So then I started get it, getting excited. And when I realized that I had achieved self-love, I got excited because I had to figure out a way to teach other people. And in one of my videos, I said, I got to figure out a way to get people to love themselves. But what I couldn't figure out was how. So I took the time and figured out or walked through how I discovered it. Because I've been in talk therapy for over 20 years. So I know all the things. How on earth do you get people to think positive, do all the right things, feel good about themselves, feel good about the people around them if they're hurting and in pain. How on earth do people see this, do this, the how? And through all of that, it led me to the nervous system, which makes sense with stress, trauma, and being triggered. Your nervous system is out of fucking control, fried, out of whack. You're in a triggered state. So I started studying, I started reading, I started doing research and became obsessed with the nervous system, which led me to, okay, no wonder people can't feel good about themselves. No wonder people cannot stop the trauma behaviors because the nervous system 
is fried because of all the trauma we've experienced through our lives, especially if it started when you were a child. We've basically been walking around in a triggered fucking state. That made sense to me. Okay, cool. So that led me to the nervous system. Okay, how do I get people out of a triggered state? Hmm. Then that led me to physical exercises that help release trauma out of the body. I kind of knew about it. I was like, hmm. Which led me to the fucking human garage. This man, his mission, he was a doctor, left his practice because his patients kept coming back. His current mission now and what he's doing for free is teaching people how to heal themselves by working with the fascia system. Excuse me. The fascia system. I'm no scientist. I don't know shit about the human body at that level. So then I start digging into his content and what is he talking about? Because, again, trauma is stored in the body. We all know this. Well, we all don't. But if you've been trying working on healing or if you know body work or if you know energy work, whatever, if you know anything that pertains to trying to heal, then you know that trauma is stored in the body. Well, boy, did this shit knock me on my ass because... The fascia system. Is the brain. It's the third brain. But the true brain. Of the human body. And the fascia system. Is where trauma. And emotions live. And the fascia system. Is fucking everywhere. In our body. Stay with me. The fascia system is like a spider web all through our body. It's in the skeletal system. It runs through the muscular system. It runs through the nervous system. It runs through the brain. It runs through the tendons. Ligaments are coated in it. And what it is, is like a spider web all through our body. Not only is it all through our body, but it also encases our mus- our muscular form. <clears throat> so if trauma and emotions live there and it's everywhere in our body, brain, skeletal, muscular, nervous systems, organs, tendons, ligaments, everywhere in our body, then trauma, pain, hurt is everywhere in the body. Do not misunderstand what I'm saying. I am not saying that this system and working with this system replaces any other modality or any other form of exercise, or any, any other form of therapy. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that I was in talk therapy for over 20 odd years. I was hitting my trauma or my healing from a talk therapy approach. I was physical, active, which is also very good. But I still carried the pain, the sadness, the hurt, no matter what I did. And I could not figure out why or how that was even possible. Why was I still thinking the way that I was? Why was I still hurting people the way that I was? 
I, it was like I could not even stop myself or prevent myself from hurting others. No matter how much I talked about it, no matter how much I was aware. Well, if the fascist system holds the trauma and the pain and the hurt and the toxicity and it's everywhere in the body and I'm not working that system, then it's still in the body. So, if the fascist system is everywhere and trauma and emotions sit within that system, no wonder, no wonder the subconscious mind is as toxic as it is when you experience trauma and stress in life. No wonder we exhibit the trauma behaviors. No wonder we have all of the addictions. No wonder, no wonder, no wonder. Because no matter what approach we're currently taking, currently doing externally, if the shit sits in the fascia system, then it's still within us. And what I've realized once I started doing these basic ass maneuvers, this man has come up with. And that trauma starts to release. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. It is truly phenomenal. And what I intend to do with the information is attempt to explain how it all connects to healing because the change transformation is so rapid, is so rapid because when you work the fascia system, you work the skeletal, the muscular, the nervous, the brain, all of the organs, the tendons, the ligaments, everything within the human body at the same time. And that is why change and transformation is so rapid. That is why you feel so good so quickly because it's trapped within the body. And once I realized that, y'all, fucking game changer.